How's it going, everyone? A little bit of a confession to make. I've got worms. I've just found out I've got worms. Sort of everywhere. Not really embarrassed to say it or anything like that. Just thought I'd let you know. Just if you see me acting a little bit strange or anything like that. So, I saw someone about this little problem that I got. And they said it's a good thing. I was a little bit surprised. So if you want to see me worms, I'll show them to you. Alright, let's go and have a look. You see, no matter where I dig in this garden, I find worms. It's a very good thing. I've only just scratched the surface. And I've got a little worm. Oh, he's a lively little fella too. So I'm not even going to dig in there. There you go. Give me your little fella. There he is. Just. Oh, I've got a little garlic coming up too. Look at that. I've only just planted that garlic. So that's a good thing. So the point of this video today is how important worms are in your garden. And the fact is when I started this, it was absolutely dead. It was just nothing but grass. Nothing would grow here. Very poor. And, uh, with a little bit of hard work and following a few laws of nature and making a few laws up of my own. I've now got worms everywhere. And they're doing a wonderful job out here. Worms, straight away. There's a little fella there. So, no matter where I dig in this garden now, I've got worms. And then my silent little workers, and it's a good indicator for what I'm doing out here is working. My weeds, I just pull them out, I just throw them straight back on the ground. That's all I do with them, but there's organic matter. Throw them straight back on the ground, don't compost them, don't throw them in a little rubbish bin, nothing like that. Throw them straight on the top. At the end of the day, it's all worm food. Anything you throw on this soil is worm food. And the most important thing as a gardener that you would understand is you've got to build this soil. Once you start building this soil, you can start building plants. Without good soil, you're going to have a hard time growing anything. So don't feed your plants, feed your soil. A little random spot here. Put tomatoes under the ground and everything. You can see how I grow my tomatoes. I don't do anything, I just let them self seed, let them come up. Worms, and they just gorgeous. So that's a few little random spots that I've just selected in this garden. And these are actually probably the worst spots in this garden. The soil isn't quite there yet, and there's still worms in there. So that's a really good indicator to me. Well, I think the biggest mistake that beginners make is they think that they can just buy bags of composts and things like that and the garden's just gonna become active and start growing amazing fruit and that couldn't be further from the truth you see most of the bag products that you buy are basically composted with heat they just pile up in big massive big piles they get that heat in there and it breaks that material down quite fast you see the problem with that is all those little living things that want to grow in there they just perish the heat comes too much for them so generally those bag products that you buy, they're just dead, they're lifeless. And if you do just plant plants in there, it actually takes quite a while for those plants to actually do anything. There's no life in that soil at all. So just beware of people that say, you know, you've got to add this to your soil and add that to your soil and all these other little weird and wonderful things that are going to end up costing you money. Because you don't need them. 
all you got to do is feed your soil, feed those worms, organic matter. It's as simple as that. And seriously, it is that simple. So in one of my last videos, I sheep mulch this little garden area here. As I slowly transition all this, push it all back this way and fill all this area. And I've basically just done a bit of trimming around the yard. A few palm leaves and a few other branches and things like that that were getting in my way. And this is the result. All of this now is going to start breaking down and basically start creating the floor in this area. And that'll last some time last quite a while there's sticks I haven't done anything with it I haven't chopped it into little pieces I haven't done anything like that I've left it as natural as I can I'll throw it on there and what I'm doing by doing this is basically replicating how natural environments work it doesn't select anything it just puts it on the ground so the reason I haven't tilled this area here is basically because it's at the bottom of the garden there's no reason to till it it receives all the moisture that slowly seeps down from all of this area here. So realistically, I'm wasting my time and creating more work for myself. If I grabbed my little tiller and started ripping all this up, it just, it wouldn't be doing anything. There's no benefit to doing that. So all I needed to do in this area was basically lay down that cardboard, which was my first step. And then my second step was basically just to walk around my yard and do a bit of a tidy up, clean, chop some branches and palm leaves and stuff like that to create a bit of a mulch layer as well on top of that very very simple process it's a no dig idea I mean I'm I'm either either I don't care what I do here I just do what I have to do if I have to till well I'll till if I don't have to till I don't till at all and I'll employ no dig methods which are which is a very good thing to do as far as I'm concerned but all these areas up here they've all been tilled because they had to be I had to hold water up there so I had to till all that up create mounded areas create keyholes so when we do get that rain, all our water comes down that hill, it holds there. Anything that's this side of this area now can just be sheet mulched. I don't have to till, I don't have to do anything else now. This area here, which is quite a large area now, it's acting like a sponge. It'll hold all that natural moisture in there and it'll slowly start leaching down this hill. So it's a good thing, really good way to create gardens. It's nice and quick nice and easy and I like easy so uh, there you go and keep growing food it's a wonderful thing thanks everyone see you next time bye bye